Howdy, my name's Eric Fish. I'm an associate professor of English here at Northeast State Community College. And I wanted to do this video to show you how to access D2L. Uh, this is mainly for uh, my internet students. Our internet classes no longer have class meetings. And sometimes students aren't quite sure how to access D2L, which is where the course is. Um, the way we generally encourage students to do this is to start at the Northeast State homepage. Uh, and go to the Students tab and then down to My Northeast. Um, this is how you access the Northeast State uh, Student Portal. Uh, hopefully you, ha you have this information. Uh, I can't give you your username or password from here. Uh, but you enter your username uh, and then your password, usually your birthday in six digits. Uh, you can change it once you get in there and you know, then you'll forget your password and you got to ask for it again and everything. But um, but they do offer uh, different ways to find out your, you know, ID or username uh, if you don't know what it is. Uh, but we're going to log in. Uh, yours is going to look a little different than mine because I'm an instructor. Um, one thing you're going to see on there is you're going to be able to see your email, your Northeast State email. Make sure you check that once in a while. If uh, financial aid has sent you 20 emails saying, hey, there's a big problem, and you're not checking your email, you got a bigger problem, right? Uh, but we're going to go down here to Desire to Learn. There's all kinds of good things you can do from this portal. You can add drop classes and things like that. Uh, you know, register for next semester. Uh, see who your advisor is. All kinds of good stuff. Uh, but we're going to use it to get into D2L. Uh, some students like to skip this page and just go straight to D2L, and you can miss out some, some pretty important information if you do that, especially if you're not checking your email. Um, but we're going to log in. Uh, if you haven't changed anything, it's going to be your username and then your birthday in six digits. Um, one problem with using your birthday as a password is that when on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it pops up and says, you know, happy birthday, Susan, uh, everybody there knows uh, your D2L password all of a sudden, right? Uh, so you probably want to go in there and change that once you get in there. Um, but your, for, for your initial initially getting into D2L, uh, sometimes you hear it called Brightspace. Um, same thing. D2L is part of Brightspace there. Um, but your username, your birthday in six digits. Uh-oh. And I messed it up. Uh, let me try again. Yeah, I used the wrong one. Sorry. There we go. Uh, one thing you're going to see on your D2L home homepage, and again, D2L is short for Desire to Learn. Uh, you're going to see a listing of your classes. Uh, if you've taken a lot of classes, you're going to see you know quite a few listed, and you can always uh, you know view more courses. Um, you'll see announcements down here. Make sure you read those. Um, lots of interesting things they tell you about. You know that they don't want to put that in front of your classes, but make sure you're scrolling down, seeing if you got any information you need to know about. Uh, that child care grant is going to be a, a game changer for many students. So um, make sure you're kind of you know scanning them real quickly. You know, most of the time you're busy trying to get to your classes and seeing what you need to do. Uh, make sure you're in the right semester. Uh, if this is showing you know fall 2018 and you don't see your current classes, it's because you're just simply in the wrong place. Uh, on the top toolbar or ribbon, uh, you can click on the this thing and see all your courses listed. You can also do a search for courses. Uh, may not help students much, but it helps me a lot if I think, you know, yeah, I taught you know that course in 2014. I can go search for it pretty quickly. Uh, you're going to have your email tab. Uh, when you click on that, you'll kind of see the last couple of emails that's come through. Um, if you click on email, you'll see all the emails that are being sent to you. If you're in multiple internet classes, you'll want to do that. Um, if you're actually within a course and you click email, it'll only show the emails for that course. Uh, so make sure you check your email before you get into any specific course. Um, of course, there's update alerts. Uh, that's going to come from all your classes. That can be kind of annoying at times if you got a lot if you got multiple internet classes. But uh, if you want to, you can check that. Uh, but we're going to go back to our homepage. You got to be kind of patient. It takes. If you got slow internet, it takes a minute to load. Uh, but you'll just click on whatever particular course it is. I'm going to use my uh, internet uh, developmental writing course. Uh, you'll see the the different places you can go at top here. 
Um, assignments, that's generally what we used to call the Dropbox. Uh, when you have something due, uh, you're going to go in here and click on the Dropbox and submit work uh, uh, that way. Um, the class list will show you all the people in the class. Um, you can also email from this page. Uh, if you do something like this and click on everybody, you're about to send everybody a, an email. Uh, so if you're going to tell me, you know, some some something personal about yourself, this generally you shouldn't do anyway. Uh, you're about to tell that to the whole class. Uh, make sure you just click it on my name. And if you do that from the class list, it'll pop up the email function. But always make sure you're checking that two box. Make sure you're sending it to the person you actually want to send it to. Um, and sometimes there's multiple teachers within a class. Uh, make sure you, you know your teacher's name and <laughs> you're sending it to the right person. Uh, contents where um, uh, most of the course material is going to be. Um, in this particular one, you can see the course documents, the essay assignments. Uh, this YouTube video is going to be posted there and subsequent YouTube videos, help material. Uh, it's going to be different for every class. Uh, but when I, you know, when I say go look at that essay assignment, it's going to be un under content. Uh, if you're doing discussions, uh, in one of my classes, they'll be here under discussion boards. I generally try to avoid D2L discussion boards. If you ever tried to do one of those on a phone, uh, you know what frustration means. Um, and, of course, grades. Students tend to be interested in how they're doing in the class. Um, mine looks like this. Uh, it's a big, long grid going all the way across the screen. I only have three students in this class right now, so it's pretty easy to keep track. But if there's 25 students and multiple assignments like this, it can be very difficult to keep track sometimes. So if ever there's ever a mistake that you see in the discussion board, I mean in the grades, uh, be sure and let me know. Uh, yours will look a little different. Yours will look, if I can get back to it, uh, in a nice little up and down list. You can kind of see all the grades you have for the class. Uh, but if something ever, look, ever looks wrong, be sure and let me know. Um, but that's kind of how D2L works. Uh, there's other, other possible things you could be doing in here with the calendar and the ePortfolio. Uh, but those are kind of the basics about how to get in there and kind of see where things are. Um, usually with the D2L, you're one click away. Um, and you got to be patient with it. Uh, but like I said, if you're, if you're just one click off on, your, uh, on my courses and the semester you're picking, uh, all of a sudden you're like, where's my class? Where's my class? Where's my class? Well, you're, you're never going to see it because you just need to click on that. Um, and again, if you're in, inside a particular course and you click the email, you're not only going to see the emails for that class. Make sure you're here on your home page uh, before you check your email. Uh, but I'm going to end it there if you have questions about it. Uh, hopefully you can get to the email function or to the class list in the course and e email me a question, right? Um, but we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.